Do you believe that the vaccine mandates circumvent the HIPAA laws? I, I'm sorry, do I believe it circumvents? Do you believe that vaccine mandates circumvent our HIPAA laws? No, I do not. You do not? <coughs> yeah. you've, you've given us the worst case scenario here uh, in your opening statement, but in reality, you have no certainty or surety that any of this will ever take place. And yet, in two months ago, 60 days, two months ago, we allocated uh, $6 million for you. And you know what that $6 million was given to you for? Uh, I don't know how that's... Staffing, it, was, it was given to you for staffing shortages. So you were given that money for staffing shortages. Why would you want to impose further hardships on people who refuse to take an experimental vaccine after they went through two years of, of living hell in the, middle of war, in the middle of one of the worst inflationary periods that we've had in this country over 30 years. And send them home right before the, right after the holidays <coughs> when you don't know for sure if, they'll, if we're going to lose any Medicaid or Medicare, Medicare funding uh, at all. Why would you want to do that? I don't want to do that. Uh, our uh, team members of the UAMS are our healthcare heroes. I'm, I'm extremely proud of the work that our team members have done. Uh, there are some members of our team who have differences of opinion about the vaccine. I respect that very much. Uh, and I hope that, um, first of all, I, I hope that there is relief from uh, the final rule. Uh, but, but as as a steward of the resources of healthcare in the state of Arkansas, I have to be prepared for uh, that worst case scenario. Um, I will say that I'm, I'm we we have had vaccine mandates in place at UAMS for a long time. We had the flu and for for other vaccines. Um, we have uh, I, I think a very broad uh, uh, religious exemption. Uh, that many of our team members choose to take advantage of. And uh, in the time that I have been at UMS, uh, to my knowledge, no one who has requested a religious exemption for a, a vaccine has been denied such an exemption. So I hope very much that we preserve our team members, uh, that we maintain 100% of our UMS employees because I'm proud of what they do, and uh, I want them to remain part of our team. We can't do our work without them. Dr. Dr. One more Senator, I, I'm going to let you have your question, but I want to say something first. Right. Uh, from the chairman's team, we're watching the board, and we have numerous members to ask questions. So I'm going to make it very prudent that we acknowledge the voting members of council today. So I want to make sure you understand the definition of what I just said. The voting members means the members, whole members, and the alternates that will be voting today. So we will only be recognizing members that will have a vote today at the current moment because of the board. So I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I want you to know we've got to make sure the folks that have to have a vote today get their questions answered so they can make a prudent vote. Senator, you're recognized to finish your questions. All right, Dr. Patrick.